The call to end violence in New Haven is getting louder, with local leaders urging the community to come together. Fox Connecticut's Tom Lewis is live in the Elm City with more on local reaction to the latest wave of violence. Tom? Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. There was that very vocal gathering last night. Uh, religious leaders, community leaders getting together in the New Hallville section to talk about this recent rash of shootings here in the Elm City. If you recall, last week, the owner of a bike shop, Mitchell Doobie, was shot and killed in a home invasion. Uh, the following day, there was a 53-year-old man on West Street that was shot and killed. Four other shooting victims that very same day. So now, once again, there is the, the buzz here in New Haven that something needs to be done about all of the bloodshed here in this uh, coastline city. So folks are getting together and they're trying to figure out solutions. There's some talk last night about possibly having a curfew for those who get in trouble with the law. Uh, other ideas were tossed around about uh, gun control and trying to get more guns off the streets. We took to the streets this morning to ask a couple of folks what they think the solution should be. I really don't understand it. I mean, it could be over a girlfriend, it could be a gang, it could be, you know, this one's from that corner, this one's from that corner, selling drugs and, you know, competition. And You think more cops on the beat would solve the problem? I think so. Yeah, 21 cops, man, you know, so now everybody is more, they say they're doing more crime now because said, 21 cops ain't is not, you know, in, in the force, so... Now people running around say, yo, we could do more violence now. Ain't got that many cops down in the green. Okay, that reference there is to the amount of uh, police officers that were cut from the force due to budget cuts. Now, there's also a study from the New Haven Department of Health talking about the implications of all the violence. Deaths from assaults were significant a cause of premature death as cancer, heart disease, and accidents. 85% of deaths of assaults caused by handguns. Stress from violence has a negative impact, as you might guess, on mental health, physical activity, and the quality of life. So this is a major issue now, especially now that New Haven has cut back that police force, as you heard one resident talk about. It's not good to lose cops. So now there's concern about it. Last week, all the shootings, all the violence, they're all hoping for some sort of solution. They're going to put their heads together, try to figure out how to end all the bloodshed here in the Elm City. Live this morning in New Haven, Tom Lewis, Fox Connecticut. Thanks, Tom. Congressman John Larson says he has a plan to break America's dependency on foreign oil. Larson has written the new Alternative Transportation to Give Americans Solutions Act, which will expand the use of natural gas for transportation. The act would push America.